Garden City has a beach, a fishing pier, and a hot dog shop that's long been popular with tourists. Residents say Garden City has a lot more to offer too, but what this unincorporated community did not have before was its own identity, separate from nearby towns like Surfside Beach or Merle's Inlet. But that is now changing. Horry County leaders have unveiled Welcome to Garden City Beach signs, additional landscaping in the median on Highway 17 business, and even a new website to help distinguish this part of the beach from all others. So with the new signs, people will know when they come and leave Garden City, and they'll know they're not in Lynchfield, they're not in Surfside or Myrtle Beach, and, and they'll begin to have an identity. Garden City Beach resident Laura Bunz has been watching the new landscaping go in. She says it's exciting to see her community become more like, well, a community. It's just going to be um, an incredible completion to that whole family neighborhood, family atmosphere that we were very proud of here. Part of the reason for adding the landscaping and the welcome signs is to give visitors to the Grand Strand a better first impression of the area. You want it to look good, you want it to look clean, put up some good uh, plantings and so forth, and it's more inviting and people remember those things and they're more likely to come back. The Garden City Project is part of a larger effort by Horry County to make the gateways to the Grand Strand more inviting. Councilman Price says he has more ideas in mind. He'd like to document the history of the area, like how did Garden City get its name? And I've done some research, but I don't want to let that out yet. <laughs> For now, he's just happy to have a welcome sign. In Garden City Beach, Joel Allen, WPDE, News Channel 15.